Yes, hi, greetings, beloved. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. This is Ella. Yes. Oh, okay. How's it going? Can you hear me okay? Uh, you're kind of low, actually. What about now? Mm. Any better? Let me turn you up myself. I'm not sure, but... I'm a call. Go ahead. Let me let me hear the volume. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'm I, talking now. You're fine. Yeah, I got you. You 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 you're good. You're good on my side. Um. So, my love, um, have you ever received a psychic medium reading before? Should I explain to you how I conduct sessions or? No, I understand. Mhm. Mm Okay, one thing I always uh, uh, stress or, or I always say is that your spirit guides are going to tell me things about you from the past and present, past, the present, and future tense. And I always encourage my clients to ask specific questions if, you know, the messages, you know, if, you know, after I deliver the messages, if there's still more questions for you to ask, please ask. But most of the times when I deliver messages, there's no, you know, sometimes there's no questions to be asked. But I always encourage my clients to ask whatever you want, you know. And if I can answer you, I will do so to the best of my ability. How long have you been on this spiritual path? I see you walking. I see you walking in the forest. Or I see you walking like all, like in a highway, on a highway, going somewhere. Um, meaning, in in sense of a direction, like they're showing me that you are looking to, I guess, is to become awakening or for any um, sense of direction, something in that nature. How long have you been on this spiritual journey? Huh. I uh, I would say four or five years. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So let me tell you another thing, because. Because the spirit realm has no such timing, there's no, you know, there's no such thing as timing, um, four or five years is like yesterday for them. But I, you're, you're actually developing your consciousness. You're actually getting more in tune with your own spirit and everything is going well. They're just showing me that you are on the path of higher consciousness. And, at, and before I called you, they gave me an affirmation prayer for you. And they're saying to me that, um, they claim that the universal creator in you recognizes the universal creator in them. So once you get into your affirmation or once you get into, um, you know, quietness or stillness, that is a prayer that you can speak into the universe to what they said is upbring or rather elevate your consciousness or rather up, upgrade or elevate the cells, your internal vibration. Because another thing, what they're telling me is you, you've been going through. She's been going through a lot of emotional stress. I don't know if it's um uh, via relationships or rather it is you know for just life itself or whatever the situation is. And I'm gonna allow you to express yourself. What they told me is, listen, she has been going through a lot of emotional um emotional stress. So it could be a uh, I don't do was you um depressed at times or do you suffer from anxiety or what is it exactly? I'm feeling kind of bored right now and with my meditation I'm not really hearing anything. Last year I heard something really loud and I don't know if I shut down because I got scared. But um I just like to hear them like so I know for sure I hear them. That's it pretty much um, emotional stuff. Uh, I'm just really bored. Um, also, I've had some friends that stabbed me in my back. I think that's kind of sparking mm, me. Yeah, 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 definitely. So you're, in a sense, and again, your spirit guys is only going to tell me things about you in a sense that affects your spirit. So you may be feeling like, oh, okay, well, you know, I have some friends that stabbed me in the back, but you felt that. You know, and that is not the only thing that I'm picking up with you as well. It's just not your friends. It's just, like I said to you before, 
um, life in general, just you being in the position that you're in, I'm not sure on what kind of medication you are, but that does affect how you feel. So in any event, if you want to get back into your godhood or if you want to get back into a state of balance is what they're saying, you, you should begin to focus on what bothers you and you need to begin to focus on what no longer serves you any good because the things that no longer serves you any good is what is causing the i guess the um the like it's like a barricade or rather it's, it's causing the blockage in you for moving forward so address it accept it acknowledge it and move forward yeah your friends might have stabbed you in the back but guess what beloved this is part of your journey this is part of you growing into consciousness this everyone has been stabbed in the back before you know by friends by family by whoever you know but it's up to the person to come up out of it and be strong be powerful is what they're saying i'm also seeing the color red um with you and i'm also seeing the color purple what they're showing me is the color purple and they call the color red and what they're saying is security 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 you may be a person that in a sense and again i'm going to allow you to express yourself but you may be a person that fears not being able to secure herself or not being able to be to be stable so as a result of you not being able to become stable this is something that you may stress or this is something that may bother you like if you're in a situation right now where you're quote-unquote depending on medication to become stable that's not good that's not who you are actually so that's just going to change I actually i i have prescribed medication but i don't take it because mm -hmm. i'm thinking it's chemical and i don't want to like affect my vibration exactly 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 so but the main fact the main fact that you are in this situation that they are giving you this medication that's that's like a sort of like hey you know that's something that is like hold up wait a minute like this is not what i'm gonna do that's like a red flag that's why they showed me the color and they gave me the color red because it's a red flag you are alert you want to be secure within yourself correct or no you don't want to be secure with yourself you want you or independent with yourself yes or no give me the question again I mean, yeah, I want to be secure with exactly, myself. Exactly, exactly. You do want to be secure with yourself. You do. You are somebody that wants to be independent, and that deals with the color red. That deals with the root chakra. And then, two, they also showed me the color purple dealing with you. So we're dealing with higher centers. We're dealing with intuition. We're dealing with spirituality. We're dealing with the third eye. Uh, opening the third eye, opening your all-seeing eye. So it's two things that you have to, or rather they're saying that you should focus on. The root chakra, which deals with security, which deals with independence, which deals with family trauma and relationships, and also balancing out your all-seeing eye, which is your, which is the third, uh, which is which is the third eye, dealing with the um, color purple. So during meditation, beloved, once you you know walk this path, as the, as this is what the first thing that they showed me is you walking this path. As you walk this path, the two colors that resonates with you right now to help you along your spiritual journey, my love, is the color red and the color purple. Okay. Is is that clear with you? Yes. Now what? Now let me ask you this: What what is it? What is the situation where you now have to take this medication? What is what what brought you to that level? Family drama. Um, I was grinding. A therapist gave me medication for like potential depression, but I don't take it anymore. I haven't taken it since last year. Okay, and but not before. Exactly. And remember, I told you, your spirit guides are going to tell me things about you that happened in the past, the present, and the future tense. So the main fact that you was once taking it, but you're no longer taking it anymore, you are actually elevating from your lower side to your higher side. You're elevating from the root chakra, which caused all of the 
your present emotions now to now elevating to the power, to the God in you. And that's the reason why they gave me the um, prayer for you when you, you know, go into your, your spiritual trends or whatever it is so that you can get closer to the God self in you, the internal vortex. Because emotionally, remember I said emotional stress. I mentioned that to you, emotional stress. Yep. So you said, and then, you know, so you just confirmed that the emotional stress came from family, came from friend, correct? Correct. Exactly. So family deals with the root chakra, the root, the root of all things, the color red. So moving forward in order to heal yourself, okay, in order to heal yourself, you have to face what they said is you have to face the things that no longer served you any good or rather caused you this sense of emotional, and that's why I asked you about the depression or the anxiety. Do you, do you agree that at one time you was in a slight depression or, was, or had a sense of anxiety due to the things that you've gone through with your family and friends? Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. So, this, I and again. I have a question. What was, the, what was the affirmation prayer again? Give me one second. Let me channel that through, beloved. Give me one second. I claim that the God, I claim that the God in me recognizes and realizes the God in you. The universal God in you is what they're saying. So I claim and I recognize the universal God in me that is also the God in you. And again, beloved, okay. this, this session has been recorded. I know you said, you know, after, you know, we deal with the whole thing, rather it's going to be private or public. It's, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So you don't have to... Scribble, scri scribble, you know, scribble anything down. I would, de I would definitely send you this recording so you can go over it. You know, you can, you know, okay. go over it and you see what happens because most of the times during sessions, because it's a lot of information that has been, you know, thrown to you, um, a lot of information that has been thrown to you, you may not dissect it in one hour. So it's always best to go back with the recordings and just. You know, okay, I, I missed that part. I understand what she means with this, blah blah blah, this, that, and the third. But again, that's it. But again, um, definitely purity with you. Um, clearing out all of the pain and 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 drama that has been caused. Um, like I said, the heart chakra is also coming up. So forgiveness and not and not holding on to um guilt. So basically feeling guilty for things that might have been done to you because again. Sometimes I always tell my clients, never take anything personal because everything that other people do to you is a reflection of them, not of you. Once you begin to take things personally, beloved, that's when it becomes your problem and then you, oh, you know, I feel guilty, I feel bad that this has happened to me. Don't feel bad. Just accept it and embrace it and move forward and thank the universal creator that these things has happened because now you are a stronger person. It only helped you to get closer to the divinity or the God particle in you. That is all. I know that you feel, you know, disappointed in a sense because it's dealing with family and your close friends, people that you love and you trust. But guess what? These people that you love and trust are the main ones that gives you hard lessons. And people come into your right. life, and people come into your life for two different, two uh, many different reasons, but uh, many different reasons. But the two main reasons is so so that people can bless you, or learn something from you, or that you can bless them or learn something from them. And the Creator only brings problem people, quote unquote, into your life to teach you these valuable lessons. So if you understand the higher 
meaning to it and that's why your spirit guides gave you that small prayer so that you can begin to understand the higher meaning of what has been happening to you you will now resonate in peace and you will now resonate in love and you will now get what is known as your closure and this is very important because the the root chakra is the first chakra to become activated and the crown chakra I mean and the purple chakra is um be, is right before the crown chakra so we're dealing with different polarities we're dealing with the lower side of you which has caused the issue and i'm going to allow you to express yourself and then we're also dealing with the higher side of you which you're trying to reach and this is why the first thing that came up was you walking along this path you walking you know on this highway for consciousness for peace for purity because you you've came from a you came from a place of darkness now you're looking for the light and and that's why I said what is the root cause the root cause is the family you know which you know the family and the friends and you know the the the, the verbal or uh, mental abuse definitely that's where it's coming from what is your right. sign beloved Libra oh balance there you go yep balance yep and then your opposite sign, give me a second, your opposite sign is what? It's Aries, the head. That's what I was talking to you about when I said the, uh, your third eye. The crown, the, 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 the color purple deals with intuition, deals with higher centers, dealing with power. Mm-hmm. There you go. So, again, your opposite sign, and that's why it's like you have to find balance as a Libra. You have to find that balance. And when we're dealing with balance, we're dealing with, okay, well, what caused these issues? You have to, in a sense, when you heal yourself, you have to uh, acknowledge and accept what happened to you in order for you to balance yourself out and then for you to become whole again, which is the Aries in you, which is the Ram, which is the passionate person in you, you see. Gotcha. Do you have any, do you have any questions? Um, is there a god or goddess I should focus on in my studies? Definitely Yemaya. I would definitely, and it's interesting because remember when I said that's perhaps why your spirit guides um, said, you know, recommended for you to take that the bath. Remember when I said, do you want the bath or you, would you like the refund? That's probably why they kicked that right. in my ear because Yemaya is definitely with you. Um, or rather, Yemaya is someone that you should um, focus on in terms of healing-wise. Definitely her. Because she is the mother of all Orishas. She is the mother of the civilization. One of the mothers. Not she is, but she is one of the mothers of, you know, the Orishas and things of that nature. Where she can help you through the healing process, through the therapy. But in the event, my love, you are a very, very strong minded person in a sense you're a very strong minded person however uh what they're saying is life took its toll and that's that's why sometimes you go up and you go down sometimes you feel low sometimes you feel high sometimes you know it's like a roller coaster ride with you i understand that but you have to know the power of the mind and that's why they said the universal creator in me recognize and realizes the universal creator in you once you begin to realize that you are god i am which is the key words of uh, aries once you begin to realize that i am the universe i am god i am the ultimate feminine divine being your whole vibration and your whole energy is going to shift but it's the it's the different avenues that you're taking and that's why you are still in a sense of imbalance sometimes you're emotional sometimes you're good sometimes you're emotional sometimes you're good you see and that's where that's where the whole uh you know the path thing is coming in remember when i said you don't know the sense of direction there it goes there it goes uh-huh, uh-huh. There you go. There it goes right there. Send, you don't have no, there's no sense of direction because it's one day this, one day is that. But moving forward, beloved, I would definitely recommend that you 
um if when you go you know during meditation you uh you um you you burn a purple candle and a white candle um definitely purple to help you um activate the higher centers or higher energies with you um and definitely white for purity, for forgiveness, for letting go is what they're saying, and just forgive people, forgive people not because they deserve forgiveness, but forgive people because you deserve to be free, I, again, the emotional stress came up and is very heavy with you, so you want to set your heart free, light as a feather, you are a what, Libra, and you know that my yacht, if you, if you go back in ancient texts, you see that the heart is weighed against the feather, and that and that is a way and 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 your heart being weighed against the feather only uh sig signifies or relates to you growing in consciousness. There you go again from one pole from one polarity to another polarity, beloved, from one stage to another stage, from the root chakra to the to the third eye, your all seeing eye, yep, there you go. But you have your heart, your heart, with whatever your heart desires. But if your heart is not pure and your heart still have this, you know, I'm stabbed in the back and, oh, I'm bored. And, you, well, how, how can you be bored? You're a Libra. How, 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 you, you got it all. You have a mastermind. You're just not using it. You have a mastermind. Your opposite sign is the Aries. That's the first sign of the zodiac sign. That's the head. That's the realm. I am. Rule, rule, you know, Aries rule the cerebral brain. The cerebral part of the brain. Cerebellum. You know, so, again, it's just a little bit of shifting. Um, shifting and your point of attraction, the things that you focus on, um, should be different as well. Again, lots of... Uh, healing, uh, rather letting go affirmations, um, release affirmations, forgiving um, your family members or rather your loved ones or your friends um, for the things that they have done to you and what you also have done to them it's because it goes both ways. It's just I know you're, you know, you, you, you're just not the victim. I know you might have played a part of certain things, being honest. You know. Well, the last situation was I took my girlfriend with me to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. She said she'd pay back half of the trip, and she decided on um, the last night she's going to get in an argument with me and mm -hmm. stop talking to me. Now I have to go and deal with that in court. So, like, honestly, I don't see how I had played a part in helping someone to go on vacation, and then they decide, oh, I'm not going to pay you back. Like, stuff like that. I've known her for 25 years. She had a child with this gentleman who wanted to take her kid away from her. I went out of my way to go to court as her pregnant, like her character witness, mm -hmm. so she could keep her kid. And I would expect something like that from somebody I've known for so long. And I've like went over and beyond to like be nice to her. I didn't do anything to her. Listen, this is this is the thing with you. That that that's an Aries for you. Um, that's definitely an Aries for you. Um, one of my my I don't, I wouldn't call her my mentor because she's not a man. But she is a spiritual guider, and she is my, my eldest sister. She is a mentor, and she's an Aries, and she goes above and beyond. But when I say take responsibility is you, no one asked you to do that, right? No one, between me and you, no one asked you to help her out in any situation. When, let me tell you. If you are constantly going above and beyond and helping people that are not helping you, then shame on you. You got to fall back. You have to find that balance within yourself to say, you know what, that is her, that is her issue. That is her problem. I know that you are a very loving person and you want to help as an, Aries, as an Aries will. And as a matter of fact, my mother's a Libra. So I do know that Libras are also very kind-hearted. I'm actually working with a Libra to help my friend's newborn baby get back into our hands. So I understand your energy. I understand wanting to help and loving people. But sometimes you have to step out of the box and say, let this person deal with her situation. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get stinged in your ass. Like you're doing now. Totally like, 
I'm doubting. Exactly. So, exactly. So this is why I said you have to take responsibility for the part that you played as well. You have to take responsibility. I understand that you took the girl out on a trip. She didn't pay you. All right, fine. I didn't. You didn't pay me. I'm taking you to court. If that's how you want to do it, that's how you got to do it. But don't, you know, send the hatred or send the negative vibes to her. Because whatever your heart desires and whatever you send out is only going to come back to you. It's only going to come back to you. So you must resonate in love. They go the heart chakra coming up. You must resonate in forgiveness. You must continue to be the loving and godly person that you are in order for you to only get back love, forgiveness, and unconditional peace and purity. Because that's what you want. Right. You don't want to resonate with other people that's going to continue to take advantage of you. You don't want that. You don't want to continue to go through the same situation with your friends and your and your family. You don't want that. So that's why I'm I'm recommending that you uh, when you go through the healing process in terms of meditation wise, you can uh, light up a, a purple candle or you can light up a white candle. And then two, what your spirit guides are saying, you can also you know um, reach out to to Yemaya. For healing, for forgiveness, or even Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin is very good. Kuan Yin is who I'm working with at this particular moment. She is the deity or she is the goddess of forgiveness and mercy. She helps people who cries out in state of an emergency, actually, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I like her. Are you it's familiar like with Kwan Yin? Yep. Okay, so then... I have to look up Yemaya. Great. Well, look up Yemaya, Kwan Yin. Um, it will definitely, you know, assist you in, in this uh, particular journey moving forward. Um, but, however, Kwan Yin is only... She, I'm, I can't say only... But she is a, the, the main reason why people should contact Kuan Yin is when they want nothing but love to come to themselves. When they just want peace within themselves and peace within the people that they're dealing with. When they are in a state of an emergency where you have to rather go to court for something legal for yourself or when you just had enough of everything and you just want to set yourself free, that's that's when you want to get with Kuan Yin or ask for her mercy or just ask for blessings and prosperity and new beginnings. Because like I said to you before, I the first thing that I saw was you walking along this path. So you, 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 not, you, you say you know these people, but if you know these people, you know you should get with these, these, these spirits if you're ready. Gotcha. Okay. If you're ready. Thank you. So, um, I believe all will go well. You know, I believe definitely all will go well with, with that court situation is what I'm seeing. Um, tell her to resonate in trust, um, and not to resonate in fear and know that the universal creator is good. You're gonna receive your karmic rewards if you haven't already been doing so. Um, because, again, I do see you as a person that is, is, is a giving and loving person. However, you have to find that balance. And that is where the, you know, incompletion, in a sense, come in at with you. Um, where, you know, you feel like, oh, I'm the person that always does things, you know, but I never get nothing in return. Yeah, you don't because you don't have a balance with, with how you go about things. So moving forward, um, beloved, and it's a life lesson and it's it's good. Again, like I said, you thank the universe for the things that have happened to you because it's only getting you closer to the divinity in you, the, 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 the ultimate feminine divine being that's inside of you, that resonates with you. That's it. So it's all good. It's all good. Everything, when people feel like, 
things is falling out of place is actually falling into place. So the main fact that you got to take this girl to court, you never know. They might give you double the money that you spent on her or spent. Right. You never know. You got to set your intention. Yeah. yeah. You have to set your intention for what it is that you want to create and want to manifest. This is 2016. Whatever it is that you think of will come true. Believe that. And if you don't believe it, then it's okay, too. You have a little bit of, you know, working to do. It's okay, too. Okay? I hear you. Do you have other questions? Um, do I have any um, grandparents around me? Give me a second. You mix? Are you are you are you are you are you mixed like mulatto? No, I just turned it. <laughs> you just what? No, I'm not mulatto. I'm black. I said I just signed it. <laughs> you just signed it? I might sound it. I hear it sometimes on the phone. No, no, I'm no, black. no, no. That's not that that you you sound you sound black. That's I don't, I don't, I didn't, I wasn't, res, I wasn't, um, referring to that, but, um. I'm Jamaican American. Thank you. Exactly. So, like I said, I asked you about the mulatto because, um, when you asked about your grandparents, I see two older, uh, people here, which are a couple, but they're fair skinned. Um, and they could, because let me tell you something, with the slave masters and everybody, everybody is mixed with something. And I'm not, you know, even, even me, myself, I'm straight black, you see me, I see you, I got locks in my hair, I'm fair skinned, but my great, great grandmother was mixed with the slave master blood, okay? Um, and you can, you can see certain features in them where it's like, okay, they're not all the way black. But the reason why I ask you that is because I see two uh, two of your grandparents here, um, because you asked for them that are fair skin, um, and it feels like it feels like they they might have lived like on a farm. You may not know them. I'm not sure if you know them. If you don't know, but they're coming to me and they say that um, they would they dealt with agriculture and they dealt with natural ways of living. Um, and they are your descendant, your they're your family. And again, sometimes people ask me for certain people, but it's it's all on who chooses to come through me. And these are the couples, right. and these are the couples and the elders that came through me on your behalf. And I'm feeling like it's more so on your mother's side, um, on your mother's side, where um, they, they come from. I think that they come more so from your mother's side. But they are definitely both of them are fair skinned people. Um, but you know like the in like Indian? Uh-huh. Are you familiar? Yeah, okay. So, um they got that like Indian texture kind of hair. But they're both like short, um, both loving people. Um, they said they had lots of children. Uh they have uh they live on this like, you know, suburb place. Or what now? This they're showing me where they used to live. Um, this guy actually has a shotgun with him, so he's a protector. Um, he's definitely he's definitely one that protects his family. Um, he has a shotgun with him, um, and he he's he's they're at peace. Um, and he said he wants you to be at peace as well because they love you. Um, so these are your great. I'm not saying your grandmother, but it might be your great great grandparents. My mother's father was on um, light skin. You sh- and they lived on a farm. Oh, okay. So then, because I'm feeling very old with them. Like, they're ancient. Like, they're... When did they make the transition? Grandfather and m- mother's side, I want to say maybe 15, 20 years ago. That's why, yeah. But- That's why they feel... They, they, they feel... 
very like ancient ancient so it's if they passed away 15 years ago definitely so if you resonate with them you resonate with them so you do know them okay then that's good so they they're with you and his wife um so i need to focus on healing root and third eye chakra how, with my meditations, am I meditating properly? Like, do I do it long enough or should I do it longer? Mm -hmm. I don't feel like I'm hearing anything. You you do it as long as you, as you desire. There's no rules to meditation. People can meditate for five minutes. People can meditate for ten minutes and get the same results. Everyone has different journeys and different situations. So if you feel like, and again, I always tell my clients to be patient with yourself. Meditate, try to meditate for two minutes. If you can hold the two minutes, try, and then once you have mastered a straight two minutes, then you move up to five minutes. Once you have mastered the five minutes, you move up, you move up. But I need to tell you that meditation is a concentrated thought. So you could just be sitting right here or when we we get off the phone with each other and you meditate, I am God, I am God, I am God, I am God. That's a form of meditation because you're concentrated on the concept of you being God. So okay. people be feeling like, oh, meditation is sitting in a lotus position, you know, with this whole waye kumbaye energy and you got it. No, not in my book. I'm usually just quiet, trying to clear my mind. That's 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 a good way to go about it. But you have to be patient with yourself, because again, we have what is known as the ego, and we have no, what is known as the God in us. And the ego is the chatterbox. The ego will keep going and going and going and going and distract you from silence or distract you from getting closer to the God particle in you. So you got to shut down the ego. You got to shut down the chatterbox in you only for you to become or only for you to begin to elevate yourself. So, yes, yeah, sitting sitting in silence is good. Definitely. Sitting in silence is good. But even though you sit in silence, you still can have those thoughts still going and going and going and going and going. That's another, that's some, that's somewhat in the spirit realm and spirit language, that's another form of anxiety. That's a form of anxiety for them. And I'm just saying this from experience. We're working with communicating with the spirit realm. Some, some of the things that we may think is, 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 uh, you know, minor for them is like, no, that's not minor. And that's something that you need to work on. So they see me as having anxiety? I, I pick up anxiety with you. I pick up anxiety with you. They already confirm emotional stress. Um, you know, and again, it could be it could be due to um, your past relationships or past situations that you have gone through, you know, because if you haven't fully cleansed yourself, you know, cleared yourself or cleanse yourself, rather it's through spiritual baths or rather it's through saging your spirit or your aura. If you haven't let go of it, it's still going to resonate with you. It's still there. And that's why I, t I mentioned to you that your spirit guides are going to tell me things about you from the past, present, and future. Because if you haven't spiritually cleansed or released from these things that no longer served you any good then it's going to come up. It's definitely going to come up because we, we want to help you to move forward. So you got to you gotta address the root. You have to address the root. So definitely, I, 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 I do pick up that with you. Gotcha. You know. Um... In regards to my spiritual path, am I going in the right way or should I look for a new direction? 
Okay. There's no right or wrong way. It's just allowing your spirit to lead you. Like, you gotta just... And that's why we keep bringing you back to the ultimate... To having this connection with the ultimate God or ultimate divinity in you. There's no right or wrong way. It's what you choose. It's what you manifest. There's no... You know, there's no... It, when we're dealing with spirituality, we're not dealing with religion. There's no rules. There's no gotcha. rules. There's no... You know, oh, how is the right way to meditate? There's no right way to meditate. How is the right way to pray? There's no right way to pray. How is the right way to eat food? There's no right way. Some people eat food with their hands. Some people eat food with their utensils. With utensils. Some people say, oh, she's not even eating her food right. Well, why not? Who who are you to say that there's a the right way or who are you who 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 made you the judge of your own life? Who? You get what I'm saying? So in any situation, well, rather who when I say who made you the judge, I'm speaking about somebody else that is telling you that oh this is the right way of making the wrong way. Clearing that up, you are the you are the judge and you are the creator of your own reality. So you write up this you write out the script, and however you write out the script in terms of getting closer to the vortex inside of you, then that is the right way. Because it is your life, and you're 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 living you're living your life destiny. No one can tell you yes, and no one can tell you no. But we claim that you are resonating in love and in purity, and we claim that you're resonating with the higher forces inside of you. So in order for you to reach the higher centers inside of you, beloved, we already recommended for you to visualize this purple light. Or rather, meditate with a purple candle. Or rather, focus on the all-seeing eye. Opening up your all-seeing eye. So that you can have this clarity in terms of, okay, what is next? Gotcha. Because I see you walking this path. I see you walking. That was the first thing that came up. Yay or nay? Yay. Yay. Um, why, why did I reincarnate here now? Like, what was my initial goal? Mm, give me a second. Let me see what they say. <sighs> huh. <laughs> okay. You know what it is? Oh, okay. All right. So here it goes, right? In your past life, you were... I'm going to tell you what it is. In your past life, you were someone that always... Um, people always gave to you, give, 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 here, you always, you had it all, you had everything, you had it all, you had all the love, you, so, coming back, reincarnating back into this particular planet, or this particular field, you are now learning the lesson of, okay, I'm the one that's giving back now, I got, as people was giving me in my old life, in my past life, but now, I have to learn the lesson of giving, in your past life, you learned the lesson of accepting. Now you are now learning the lesson of giving. And what they said is, you had, one of the reasons is, come back to this planet to make people happy. Come back into this planet to show people who they are and what their worth is through rather love or happiness. You know how sometimes, pe um, rather it's your friends or your family or whatnot, they may be feeling sad and down and blah, 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 and depressed and stuff. They'll call you up. Hey, hey, Dion, hey, Dion, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then after, and after they get off, you know, after they get off the phone with you, you might be drained and they may be happy. That is, right. that is one of, yeah, so you have came back onto this planet, one of the reasons, because you came back to this planet for many different things because we're multi-talented people, um, and spiritual people, but one of the reasons what they're saying is to make people happy, to give, to be a giver and to be a lover is what they're saying. And it makes sense because you are ruled by the planet Venus, which is the planet of love. Mm-hmm. Yep, totally makes sense. So then, but then too, you have to find a balance with how you do things. You have to right. find that balance. 
So that's what I know. I just give all the time. Yeah. Like, it makes me happy to make other people happy. Exactly. Exactly. I, I, I understand that. It, it makes you happy to make other. That's good. And that's why your heart, you have a good heart. And you're always going to receive karmic rewards. However, you have, we're living on a physical dimension. And we're living on a polarity. A world that is based on polarity. A, 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 a world that is based on yin-yang. A world that is based on feminine and, as, and feminine and masculine principle. A world that is built on the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. Okay? We always dealing with balance. And if you do not have this balance, you are out of balance or imbalance. That's just that's just that's just the way things go. That's just the results of when you are not in complete balance with the internal vortex with you. That's what happens. So all that you're doing is okay in terms of loving yourself and loving other people. However, you have to, in a sense, come into agreeing with what you're willing to do and what you're willing not to do. And forgiving certain things that manifested in your life which disappointed you. Gotcha. In order for you to move forward to make proper decisions. Because if you're not if you're not if you're not uh completely there on a spiritual level, then how can you assist somebody else on their spiritual path? All right. I hear you. Yeah, I I I I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you do. Some some things, you know, don't have to be said, but it's felt, and I feel you. Mm-hmm. Um, would my spirit guide see if I have a future with children in my life? Hmm. You know what? I, 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 I feel that, but I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Um, this this is not what they're showing me. Um but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's you know, that's not gonna happen. No, that's just not what I'm picking up. Um, but me personally, um, besides channeling, that's what I'm picking up for you that in the near future I see you around a lot of children. I don't know if you're around a lot of children now or you work with children or whatever. Um, but you do have that that uh, motherly and joyful spirit of a mother um, with you. So you, if that's something that you want to manifest in your near future, you need to begin to visualize that. And you need to begin to align yourself with this reality because it's very, very possible that it happens. Very, very possible. You know. Um, I do know that you want children. I, I, you know... Do you have you come from a big family? I mean, I'm just a small. I'm just medium. Say that once more. I'm the youngest of four, oh. so I was saying, I guess the medium size. I'm talking about the, you know, like your aunties, your great, you know. Uncles. Okay, yeah, my mother's the oldest of eleven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You come from a big yeah. family, yeah. right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I so again, I I definitely feel that with you. Um, I definitely feel that. That's that's interesting because my father comes from a, um, it was thirteen, or well, I believe twelve. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but but see, you you come from a Jamaican background, so it's all African. It's all African. Yeah. So it's all good. You know. At that time, yeah, they was making babies like hell. <laughs> right. They they was they was making babies, babies, you know. Yeah, so yeah, I definitely I definitely would recommend that you don't um, resonate in fear, you know, or doubt. Not not necessarily so much fear, but doubt. Um, 
you know, doubting certain things that, you know, I doubt that will happen. I don't, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Because if you do so, that's what the, that's what is, that's what you're putting out. And as you know, whatever it is that you're putting out is only going to come back to you. So if you want to shift, you want to shift your life and you want to create certain things or you want to manifest certain things, you got to claim it. You got to claim to be a mother. You have to claim to be a loving mother. You have to claim that you align yourself with a loving mate. You have to claim to be happy. You have to claim to forgive. You have to claim these things. You have to speak a certain language. Okay. And I'm just giving you personal jewels. <laughs> Personally wise. You know. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think the irritation was the lack of forgiveness that's been bothering me. Ultimately. Oh, so you now you opening up. <laughs> now. Cause I think it was in more of a subconscious level. It's like I don't think it's there, but it's there. It's there. Because I'm annoyed, but I don't really know why. Mm -hmm. So I'm like. That's not me to be like irritable. So it's like, what's happening? Exactly, and that's why I said the root cause. You have to dissect the root cause. You know, be honest with yourself. No one's with you. No one's with you in your, you know, in your sacred space. Be honest with yourself and ask yourself because if you want to get a reading from me, I'm going to pick up on the root cause. I'm going to pick up right. on the root cause because your spirit guys is showing, is telling me, listen, hey, this is the root cause of why this is happening. Regardless if you acknowledge it or not, it's there. And that's why I said, you got to, you know, you got to release that. You got to cleanse that out on a spiritual level. Right. Rather, it's affirmations. Rather, it's, it's, it's saging yourself or de dealing with incense. Rather, it's, it's taking advantage of a three-day bath. You know, periodically from time to time, you know, just cleansing your soul, cleansing your spirit to help you. Hey, we, we all need help. We all need certain tools to get to where we need to get to. A car would not go nowhere without gas. It needs, the gas is the tool to go somewhere. Right? Sure. So, right. Yeah. So, say that again, my love. I was agreeing with you. I said, right. Right. You know, so, um... Yeah, in the back of your mind, you feel irritated. You feel incomplete. You know, you feel something that's is, is something is wrong. But it's like, what's wrong? The, what's wrong is what you have been suppressing. That's what's wrong. That's why I had to call you. Well, I had to call you. Well, hey, you know, I, I'm honored and I'm thankful. You know, I am honored. I am thankful. And, you know, uh, I claim that I, I, I assisted you within this one hour of us being on the line. You I know, agree. You know, I, I, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that you chose me, that you reached out to me. I'm thankful for that. I appreciate you. Oh, yes, beloved. I appreciate you, too. So, um... Again, is this going to be a private session or can I upload it publicly? You can upload it. Okay. So once I upload it, I'm actually going to upload it directly because um, I'm not going to edit it. This is going to be a raw session. Upload it directly and you'll get it within probably the next day or so. Okay, All right, beloved. I bless you. I love you and create a bless. And you also, thank you. Okay, bye-bye.